We've been involved actually in MRD for a, a long time, uh, going all the way back to 2015. And way back then, um, there was some questions about what would be the best method. You know, was it be next generation sequencing, next generation flow, uh, and and even quite frankly, what's the value of um, MRD in myeloma? Is it really prognostic? Does it mean something? Since then, there's been a number of um, meta-analyses that have come out first in around 2017. There's one actually that just came out a couple of weeks ago, led by Dr. Nikhil Munshi, uh, on 93 papers over 8,000 patients, which has um, re-emphasized once again that minimal uh, residual disease um, is prognostic, probably up even upfront in the newly diagnosed setting, in the transplant setting. And I would say it also has some value uh, in you know the relapse setting as well as in smoldering. So um, there's you know since we've started, there's now been at least in the U.S. one FDA approved assay for myeloma, which is uh, reimbursed uh, with uh, hopefully more coming. So um, it's you know the, the deeper the responses you get, the better in, in whatever setting. So and and Forte is another example where. Uh, we, you know, uh, again, using MRD, we figured out that the deeper you get, the better. Even in, in patients who are 1Q amplification, those are um, the worst of the worst. That was a discovery we made out of our own MMRF compass study. If you have 1Q amplification, and I'm talking about four copies or more, you're going to do really, really poorly. But if you can get those patients through some kind of MRD negativity or close to it, uh, patients will do much better. That was, in essence, what we uh, showed at this ASH meeting around MRD. So uh, a very important um, tool, I think very important even going forward for uh, clinical care. Uh, you'll hear a lot about that. There was many, many discussions at ASH and um, it's, it's here to stay. Uh, it may soon become a surrogate marker for clinical trials, and you know there were many presentations by UCSF and others around using MRD even to make clinical decision, whether to, make, for example, stop maintenance, or uh, uh, on the other side of the spectrum, maybe to reinitiate treatment, even though the um, classical uh, blood values were still um, acceptable.